Kay kind of touched on it with the discipline at UConn. So at UConn, you taught us so many different values and lessons and mine was a little bit more unique with two ACLs. So being out like a total of a year and a half or a season and a half, um, kind of overcoming that and then um, staying disciplined with that as well. Like talking to a few people saying that we didn't have a curfew. We didn't do classroom checks because you made us be responsible for those situations where we wouldn't even think twice to to break those rules. We all have different backgrounds. We came from all different areas and situations and we, you guys to come together and have the same goals where we end up loving each other and becoming family. And you see it at final fours on how many alum come back and just celebrate each other and just in, like truly enjoy each other. And that's something special that I think is super rare and you don't get anywhere else. When you go out, like how do you, how do you know who has that thread? Because how you've built the program since you started it's i mean i feel like regardless if we played back in the 80s 90s 2000s to now it seems like we all kind of have that similarity so as a coach yeah how do you see that in a 15 year old i don't i don't think you see it completely i don't think you you can tell for sure but uh you know if when you've been doing it for a while you look for certain qualities in kids and you watch how they behave not just when you're playing basketball, but just their overall being, you know, like you just try to feel, feel out the person, you know, what are you seeing? What are you feeling? And then once they get here, because we treat people a certain way and we demand certain things and we ask you to do certain things, you all bond together. That stays with you guys the rest of your life. We're never completely sure, but we're more sure than, than we're not. People say playing at Connecticut is really hard. It's not really hard to play here. It's not. You just got to play hard. The confidence level that you have to have to be a good player here has to be higher than the average person. And it can't be fake. To me, the thing that brings me back to you guys all the time is the, the feeling that you get when you are around people that you know you've experienced something really special with. And that never goes away. That just gets stronger each year because you know how special that was. Because since those days, you know that those feelings of connecting like that and bonding like that, the older you've gotten, you realize how rare those things are. That you don't have the opportunity to connect like that, to bond like that, to have those shared experiences very often. So when you think back to 2009, 2010, yeah, how many games in a row did we win? I don't know. You know, we went undefeated both years. Uh, how many, you know, how many games did we win by how many? I don't know. I just know that that bond that we created among ourselves was so great, it's never going away. It's never going away. Everybody's going to have their thing but in the end, uh, what I'm so proud of is um, what you've done on the court since you left, and way more important, what you have done off the court and what you're gonna continue to do off the court. That is the best response or the best way that you can ever bring honor to UConn basketball is by what you're doing right now. So I wanna thank you all for that.